and welcome everybody to our live webinar today, our Diabetes Forum. Glad to have you here. Um, this is going to be recorded, so you can go back and share this event with your friends or anyone that's interested in continuous glucose monitoring. I have a few people helping me out today. I've got Karen Charney, the Mary Washington Web Coordinator. She's working in the background to make sure everything works properly. And two of my colleagues, diabetes educators, Jody Long and Courtney Wilkerson. I'm Laura. I'm a registered dietitian and a certified diabetes care and educational specialist with Mary Washington's Healthcare's Diabetes Self-Management and Support Program. We've invited our type 1 and type 2 diabetes support group members today because the content today is certainly appropriate for both groups. We have three representatives today from three of the major continuous glucose monitor manufacturers. They're each going to speak for about 15 minutes about their product, and then we're going to allow five minutes for questions. Jody is going to be handling the question and answer period. It'll be about five minutes. And then if you have questions along the way, in the upper right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a bubble with question marks. Just click on that and type in your questions. So um, if you're not familiar with it, a continuous glucose monitor is a device that you wear seven to 14 days, depending on the, the type that you choose. It checks your blood sugar every five minutes, sends those results to a receiver that you carry. It could be your phone or receiver that they provide you. Um, it can let you know if your blood sugar is high, if it's low, or if it's about to go low. Um, it can provide you with graphs um, and lots of information to track your trends and patterns so you can make better treatment decisions. It can limit or eliminate the need for finger sticks, which is pretty great. And um, a lot of these systems allow you to share your information with a loved one. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce our first speaker. We've got Brian Wilhelm Wilhelmson from Abbott Freestyle Libre. Um, Brian's been with Abbott Care for about 18 years. Um, he's been in many different roles within the organization. His current role is the Diabetes Strategic Liaison Manager, managing a clinical sales and support team. He's always wanted to be working within the diabetes community. It's up close and personal to him. He has two siblings who were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when they were kids and a son that was diagnosed at 20 months. He also has other family members who have diabetes. So he has a great passion for this, and he feels blessed to work with and have great friendships through his associations with others who have been affected by diabetes. So Brian, I'll turn it over to you. Great. Can everybody hear me? Awesome. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's kick this off with this video. Um, so let's, uh, I've got my sound on, so just so everyone can see this. So. so. So I'm here to introduce to everyone the Freestyle Libre 2 system. Um, as Laura had explained, I've been around diabetes pretty much my whole life. Uh, so I have a brother and sister who are diagnosed as children. Um, my brother was a teenager. My daughter or my, my, my sister was a, a young child. My son was 20 months old and he was diagnosed while I was in college. I have my brother's wife has type 1 diabetes, my mother-in-law has type 2 diabetes, my, my wife's brother has type 1 diabetes. We, we can't go to a family event without testing glucose and talking about blood sugars and, and it, did everybody take their insulin. So this is something that's very near and dear to me. So, um, you know, with Freestyle Libre 2, this is what I'm so excited about because I remember the day when my sister was using uh, urine testing and now here we are with these amazing continuous glucose monitors. So the Freestyle Libre 2 system is the latest uh, uh, continuous glucose monitoring system in the market. Uh, the system itself 
uh, the changes in it is number one, it actually has a pediatric indication, which means that it's approved for children over the age of four. But the biggest feature about this is that it now has real time glucose alarms to uh, alarm the, or alert the patient when um, they are going low or, or, or too low or too high. Um, there are three, there are only three alarms in the system. The Freestyle Libre system is built around simplicity. Um, so we only have three alarms. There's the low glucose alarm, there's the high glucose alarm, and then there's the, um, uh, the uh, uh, alert for uh, the connectivity between the, 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 the actual reader and the actual sensor. There's alarm, but when the patient's out of range for uh, an extended period of time, the alarm will go off just to, to warn the, the patient that uh, you're, 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 you're not connected. Um, the system is very simple. Um, it's just a reader right here, and it's the sensor. Uh, the sensor is disposable. It's for up to 14 day wear. Um, it's incredibly accurate. There's no calibration uh, required. It's calibrated at the factory, so simply insert it. Um, there's a brief warm up period uh, for an hour, and then after that, uh, it, uh, it, uh, will, uh, it'll alert the patient to start being able to scan. Now, the unique thing about Freestyle Libre is that um, the system, the reader itself, is where um, this device right here is to capture the information. But the sensor itself is this repository of what's happening. It's actually checking the glucose once every minute. So every minute, this uh, sensor, it's worn right here on the back of the arm. You saw it with the video. A uh, patient's wearing it right here. Um, all the, all the, uh, as, it's, as it's checking every minute, uh, sensing, yeah. Oh, are you? Okay. Not a problem. Let me actually go back, stop sharing so you can see me. All right. So here's the reader itself. Um, it's actually a color screen. So you can see here. Um, if I get it really close, you can kind of see. And then here's the sensor itself. Now, this is just the sensor, it's just in the case itself, but it, it'll show, uh, you can see here, it's actually quite small. It's the size of two quarters stacked on top of each other. Um, the reader itself, um, <clears throat> The reader itself is how we capture all the information. So we call it a uh, we call it scanning. Um, all that the patient does is they turn on the, the reader, they scan the sensor, and it'll show them what their readings are for the last uh, eight hours, their current reading, uh, the trend arrow, which way they're going up high, uh, whether they're going up, if they're going down, uh, or if they're steady. Uh, the reader itself also, because it is connected through low frequency Bluetooth, if the sensor uh, actually uh, senses the glucose readings hit the, let's say, uh, you set the, the reading at 80. And once it hits and goes below 80, the reader itself will alarm and tell the patient, you need to scan. So the patient then scans, they get their glucose reading, and they can see what's happening. Um, same thing for the high, the high alarm. Um, if you set the alarm, let's say at like 180, as soon as you go over 180, the reader alarms, Take the reader, scan it. Now, some individuals have asked us, you know, what's unique about why, why did you guys do it differently with a scanning feature? And the reason is, is because one of the challenges with continued glucose monitoring is that it can be quite expensive. So we approached it from one, simplicity, two, affordability. So um, from the get-go, we wanted to make sure patients could afford CGM. So we actually distribute a vast majority of uh, the readers uh, and the sensors are through the pharmacy. So most patients are actually going to their local retail pharmacy to get the, their sensors with their prescription from their physician because we wanted it to be affordable and simple to use. Um, and again, like I mentioned before, uh, it is there's no finger sticks required. Uh, it is calibrated at the factory. So once you pull out of the box, put it on, and after it has a brief warm up, you're off, off, off and running and being able to use your continuous glucose monitor. It's actually one of the reasons why it's been adopted so quickly is because it's so simple to use and affordable. Um, I'm gonna take a step back uh, and uh, open it up to any questions that folks might have uh, that, are, that are listening. Brian, thanks. That was a great overview of the Freestyle Libre. I really appreciate it. Um, and Courtney was just channeling some questions that we've had from some of our audience Great. so far. 
Um, one of the questions that was posed was, does the reader use batteries or is this something I have to charge? Yeah, that's a great question. It actually is rechargeable, so you can see right there. It's a micro USB charger. Um, and the, the actual charging, it, it lasts quite a while. Um, most patients, if you're not using it, just plug it in. But uh, it, it usually goes, you know, five or six days before. If you're using, the more you use it, <laughs> the more often you're going to have to charge it. But uh, just rechargeable, you can just plug it right in and you're just sitting at your in the kitchen and, and as you're walking by. And again, when you've been apart for it for over 20 minutes, it'll automatically alarm, letting you know. The great thing is though, all the data is right here. So this holds eight hours of data. So if you walk away from this for a couple of hours, you didn't lose anything. It's all still here. And that's that's unique with our system. Other systems, that's not the case. So, that, so that's another thing that physicians like about it is that if you happen to be separated for a little while, you still have the information right there. Okay, great, thank you. I had another question come through. Um, you mentioned no calibrations. Yep. So is so I don't have to do any kind of finger sticks. Can yeah, you address so, that? Yeah, so one of the things that, one of the biggest frustrations I think with CGM in the past has been the fact that you're using it, but you still had to take, check your finger and then you had to actually calibrate to make sure it's 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 in uh, in the right range and it, you know you bring it back where it needs to be. Uh, that's not the case with Freestyle Libre. If there is ever a problem or the sensor senses there's an issue, it will actually give a warning to actually uh, suggest a finger stick and it just right on the screen will show it. Now the really unique thing about this is you'll see right there, what do we do? We actually put a test strip port in the reader. So you can use the precision Neo test strips to do a finger stick right here. You don't have to have a separate meter. It's actually built into it. So um, if there ever is a question. Now during the first 12 hours, we do have, uh, because post insertion variability is a real thing. So we do have warnings that will come up every now and then that'll say, listen, you might wanna do a confirmation stick just to make sure but the accuracy of the system is phenomenal. It's actually so accurate, it received the highest accuracy indication from the FDA for Freestyle Day Grade 2 with, I, with an ICGM indication. That's great. Um, and it looks like we have another question coming in. Um, and that is, what is the distance that the reader and Freestyle need to be? What's the distance between the reader? And, uh, uh, can you address that? Yeah, with low low frequency Bluetooth, with any Bluetooth, you're looking between 15 to 20 feet. Um, so um, as long as they're there, once you go past that, um, is like I said, if 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 it can't sense, if this can't sense the sensor anymore, uh, after 20 minutes, then an alarm will go off. And and um, and and telling the patient, listen, you're you've been apart too long. You might want to come back in. But again, where's all the data? It's right here. Right, so if you if you step away for an hour and it does alert, you didn't lose anything um, because it holds the most recent eight hours. So as long as you're scanning frequently and within that eight, eight hours, you're you're always going to pick it up. Okay. And we have one more question. I think we have time for. Um, yep. Where is it worn? Is there only one place that you can mm -hmm. wear this? Can you address that? Yeah, so the only indicated area for wear is actually right here on the back of the upper arm, right here in this area. Um, so we you know, recommend patients rotate. So for, you know, because it is a 14 day wear, you can wear one here and then 14, you know, you switch over to here, allowing the site to be able to heal and the skin and it, and, and it works really well. The other nice thing about the back of the upper arm is it's out of the way, but it's still convenient to, to be able to wear. I know when I was talking to my brother, he used to, his he, he wears the sensor and he loves the fact that it's on the back of his upper arm. It gives him the real estate, other areas of his body for his pump sites. And that's, so you're not competing for that same area. Um, and he also said it's, it, he didn't like having a sensor on his tummy. He said that. So he really likes that. And we've heard that from many patients, how convenient it is on the back of the upper arm. But that is the only area that it is approved for is the back okay. of the upper arm. And waterproof? Yes. Yep. Okay. You meet three meters, 30 feet, three meters, 30 minutes. I, I would love to ask a question. Go ahead. Um, what about how, how do they get it? Do they ask their doctor for a prescription? Mm -hmm. And what about insurance coverage? Is it covered by most providers? Yeah. And um, what do they, how, how do you qualify for it? 
Yeah, so one of the things from the get-go we wanted to do is the affordability. Because CGM is ten, has in the past that just been expensive, that was a barrier for more patients using it. So one, we wanted to go through the retail pharmacy, make it easy to get. You don't have to go through a DME. Um, patients that are on Medicare, they do need to go through a DME. But if you have commercial or private insurance, or even if you don't have insurance, um, going through the pharmacy, you need a prescription from your doctor because it is a class two device. So that does require a prescription for the pharmacy to be able to dispense that. They can, the physician can call it in. Uh, you know, I've had, I've, I've talked to patients that are like, I wanted to try it. So I called my doctor and my doctor's like, sure. And they just called it in. Or when you meet with your physician, have them call that or, or send a prescription over. The, we, we have a, uh, basically it's a rule, uh, pay no more than 75. Um, so even if you do not have insurance, if you call our customer service number, they will get you a voucher that'll actually bring the cost down to 70, $75 a month. The reader itself runs about 75. That is a separate cost. That's a one-time purchase. Um, and then the sensors themselves pay no more than 75 for a month. So that's two sensors, you know, 14 days, uh, you know, two sensors a month. But with, with insurance, those costs definitely are a lot lower um, because the insurance is helping to pay for that. And what we found is we brought the cost of CGM down significantly. So, so we've actually had patients that are even willing to pay cash because it's, 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 uh, because it's more affordable. And again, um, it's easy to use. Thank you. That, that is affordable. Great. Yeah. Any other questions? I don't. Let me check with Courtney real quick. I don't think we have any more coming in right now, do we? Oh, there is one more. Okay. Yeah, uh, so that's is there Yeah, so it, that's a really good question. There's a interstitial fluid does have a lag time. Um, that's just physiological. With the algorithms that we have in a place with, with continuous glucose monitoring companies, we try to shorten that lag time as much as possible. But there will be periods of time when a patient does see a difference, maybe when they're exercising and you're going to see a, 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 a drastic difference. That's Those are the times when maybe the system can sense there's a lot of change and, and would recommend a finger stick. Um, it, but when whenever there's uh, your symptoms don't match, always make sure you confirm with the finger stick. Um, it's just that secondary. But the system is, is as it's so it's the accuracy of the system is, is, you know, to that point where the FDA gave it the indication that no finger sticks were required. So I, I do say that um, it's always good to, to check, but always, you know, be, be check with your uh, CDCES. Um, I call them, you know, we used to call everybody CDs, but CDCES. Um, they are fantastic to be able to talk about lag time and, and when to check and maybe when you need to do a finger stick. Uh, but you know this, the accuracy in these systems is is incredibly reliable now. But but again, if you do a finger stick and there are certain times when you do scan, you might see a difference because of that lag time. But it doesn't mean that the system's not accurate. It just means that it's a physiological change that's happening. And and in in part of learning how to use a CGM and and watching trending and those types of uh, management, a different type of management. It's a different perspective and really opens up a whole new element to your glucose management that you have never seen before. Um, I know most most patients if they uh, that I've talked to, if they have to choose between the technologies that are out there, the CGM is at the top of the list to go for and work with first because it's so insightful as to what's happening with your body and how your your blood sugars react to certain foods and exercise. Um, so it's just it's amazing the information we have available at us now just with. A simple scan. Thank you, Brian. That was really helpful. You're welcome. All right. So now we are going to move on with the next presenter. We have Matt Esper here from Medtronic Guardian Connect. And Matt has had type 1 diabetes for about 35 years. He was diagnosed when he was 13 months old. He grew up in Massachusetts and he's lived in Rhode Island, Texas, and now Virginia for about five years. He's married to his beautiful wife, Hillary, and they have two daughters, Sloan, who's three, and Emma, who's eight months, so he's really busy. And he's worked for Medtronic for the last eight and a half years in various roles, supporting both inside and outside teams. 
While diabetes can be a challenge, the technology that is available for patients continues to evolve and he's proud to work for a company that meets patients no matter where they are on their journey. I'm gonna turn it You good? Um, so, sorry, it's uh, it's really exciting to talk to you today about Guardian Connect and the value that it can bring for you just beyond, uh, beyond uh, uh, getting a number, what, you're, what you hear about today from uh, from the other uh, reps, reps that will talk to you. Um, so, Guardian Connect is a continuous glucose monitor uh, that you will get that reads to your Android or your Apple phone every five minutes, um, and it gives you, tells you what your blood sugar is. What makes Medtronic different than anybody else out there is the ability to give you more, right? So we have predictive alerts in our system, um, which will alert you to a low blood sugar an hour beforehand or an hour before you go high. So if you're sitting in traffic on 95, I'm sure that's happened to uh, many of us at the time, um, to know that you're gonna have a low blood sugar before you actually have it, gives you that empowerment that you're looking for to really manage your diabetes in a more proactive manner. Um, on the flip side, if you're somebody who struggles with highs, if you forget to bolus for meals, do you want to be alerted when you're 250 or 300? No, this gives you the ability to really get ahead of your, uh, your blood sugars and get you to where you want to be, which is staying in that targeted range of 70 to 180 more frequently and avoid a lot of those kind of top season turvies that, that you may be having. The Guardian Connect allows you to be in the know with, with not only your diabetes, but with also people around you that you want to share with care partners. So if you, if you decide to have your husband, wife, uh, child um, follow you, they can get text alerts that are customizable to them. So if they want to know if, they're, if your blood sugar is running low, um, you can set that alert for them. If you want them to know everything under the sun, um, some people like that information, some others don't. Um, but that they'll be able to know what you want them to know so that they can stay involved and have that peace of mind uh, knowing that you're okay while you're out living your life. Um, what makes Medtronic interest, uh, really good as well is the ability to set customizable alerts. We have a daytime target and a nighttime target. We also have the ability to mute your alarm. So if you're in a meeting um, and you don't want any alarms to go off because you don't want somebody asking questions, it gives you the ability to mute your alarms. Sometimes you want to be alerted, you know, when your blood sugar is at 65 during the day and maybe 75 at night, so you can avoid that fight or flight moment. You're going to have that empowerment with the Guardian Connect to do the things that you want to do to set it specifically to your lifestyle. Medtronic is here to offer support. We don't just offer the therapy, but we also the support, offer the support. We have three folk, local field representatives in addition to your outstanding Mary Washington team to help you utilize the system to the, the best of your ability and wherever you are on that journey with your diabetes. If continuous glucose monitor is, that, is it and that's where you want to go, we're here to support you. If it's looking at different technologies and moving the needle forward, we're here to help you as well. We want to make Guardian Connect simplistic. So it's the only system that allows you the, the ability to download the system, uh, to download the app right there on your phone and have a step-by-step -step wizard to take you through the process. We're here to support you, but some people like to do it themselves. Sometimes the scheduling don't, doesn't add up. So we're here to support you, give you the tools and resources to make you living with diabetes a little bit easier. On the lower right hand corner, what you'll see is outsmart highs and lows. We also offer this system. Once again, this is just not a system that tells you your numbers. Um, this gives you the ability to really manage your diabetes. If you have an Apple device, we, we have a program what's called Sugar IQ. You can use it if you want and you, or you can decide not to. But what Sugar IQ can give you the ability to do is track food to see exactly how certain foods affect me. If you're a pizza Friday night person and you can't remember what you, what, what you gave yourself for insulin last week or how it affected your blood sugar, 
you're going to be able to log into the system and it's going to give you those insights to say, hey, your, your blood sugar goes above 300 every time you eat pizza. Or every Saturday morning, you wake up with a low blood sugar. It's there as a resource. IBM Watson is the, the artificial intelligence behind it. And if, if you've watched Jeopardy or anything like that in the past, that, that powers a lot of their, their artificial intelligence. So it's giving you insights to make better choices with your diabetes, because living with diabetes, 95% of the things that we do are behavior related. And if we can nip some of those behaviors in the bud, we're gonna make better life choices and most importantly, live a better quality of life with, with, with that comes with our diabetes. Reliability and safety. So you'll, you'll hear from, um, from the other companies today that zero finger sticks are, you don't have to test your blood sugar. Well, those come on factory calibrations, which you know, the FDA has said is, is okay, but the onus really falls on you as the patient to say, if something's not right, if your blood sugar is high or if it's low, you, you should probably test your blood sugar. And if you don't, then you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't fall on the company, right? We, we require two finger sticks a day because of, the, of what it provides you, right? If you are somebody who struggles with low blood sugar, the Medtronic system captures 98.5% of alerts. Think about that, 98.5% of the time, we can pick up on those alerts before you have those potential low blood sugars. If you look at the data from other companies, they're in the mid 80s, low to mid 80s. So if you want that reliability of knowing exactly what your sugar is, as well as the added benefit of knowing before you actually have that low blood sugar, then Garnet and Connect is really a system that can work well for you. Okay. So it, it, it gives you that ability to know, know before you have low, as well as that reliability and safety that you're looking for as a patient. We mentioned the ability to meet you on your journey. If you decide that the Guardian Connect is a, is a system that you want to utilize, you can also use uh, a, new, a new product that we have. It's called InPen. It's a smart pen that works with your continuous glucose monitor that gives you the ability to track your doses, to see how certain things are affecting you during the day, um, to give you that information if you're somebody who struggles with this boluses, you're gonna have the ability to have alerts on your phone to say, hey, your blood sugar is rising. Did you forget to, did you forget to bolus? It gives you that empowerment to live your life that you wanna live and not be so much of a, you know, worried about your diabetes on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're really here to meet you where you are, give you the tools to succeed with your diabetes and, and make life living with diabetes that much easier. So with that, I, that's my slideshow. I would like to make it a little bit more interactive and, and answer some questions. Matt, thank you very much. We already have a couple of questions that have come in. So let me share with you what the audience is asking. Um, so one of the questions is, how many hours a day should I wear this CGM? Yep. So it's a continuous glucose monitor. So it's going to give you a reading into your blood, to your phone every five minutes. You want to wear it consistently to give you the best possible outcomes, right? Um, some people use it as a trending device, but if you really wanna reap the benefits of using a system, whether it's ours or somebody else's, you wanna wear it consistently to make sure that you're in targeted range more frequently and, uh, and get your best results possible. Okay, great. Um, we have another question and this is, if I'm on sliding scale insulin, can I use the results from this CGM to dose myself? So you are going to, um, it is labeled as a continuous glucose monitor. We want you to calibrate your values during the day. Um, if you feel comfortable with the, with the alerts, with, the, with what your blood sugar feels, you may enter it in um, and run with it, yes. Okay, um, have a couple more questions for you. 
um, does this CGM, um, does it require a prescription? And if so, how does my provider have to specify to order this correctly for me? Yep. So Medtronic, we, we, do, we do both durable medical equipment and pharmacy benefits manager. Um, so the easiest way to get it done is to have your, to reach out to me directly. Um, my phone, I can provide you my information. Um, they, Laura has it as well. Um, and I can start the order process. We take care of all the prescription paperwork, all the necessity, and we also contact your insurance or pharmacy benefits manager uh, to get you the, the best price possible. Okay. And uh, I think we have another question coming through. Laura, do you have any that you can think of that we, oh, here it is, fresh off. <laughs> Fresh from the audience. <laughs> um, okay, and you said it's recommended to calibrate how many times per day? Twice a day. Twice a day. Uh, for me personally, it's 8 a.m., 8 p.m. Um, that gives me the, the, the instances that I need to go through my day without having to worry about what's going on with my CGM. All right. And you have to be on insulin in order to qualify for the Guardian? So most, uh, most insurances going through durable medical equipment will require that you're on insulin. However, um, certain pharmacy benefits, some patients we've had on one shot of insulin, some patients we've had on just oral medications, um, we have options available for you uh, through your pharmacy benefits. Okay, and Matt, we have another question come in. Uh, is there a separate reader unit or is only my cell phone required to see the results from the sensor? You are only going to purchase, you only need to use your cell phone. There is no additional reader. Um, and actually with our transmitter, um, you saw a little C-cell safe device uh, that connects. That's good for a year and it can last you actually a longer. Um, since we aren't a disposable sensor, um, we use a transmitter that connects wirelessly to your, to your uh, sorry, to your phone. Um, and that, that gives you that ability not to have to, uh, to have added costs to you every single every single three months. Okay, there's another question. Um, can you talk about coverage by Medicare? So we're currently not covered by Medicare. However, um, we've made a um, diabetes is a challenge, right? And diabetes, we struggled with that Medicare coverage. We're work actively working with them. However, if you are on Medicare without um, and you're on insulin, we offer it for $60 a month. So we wanna make it accessible. If you have a rare insurance plan where we aren't covered, we will also offer it to you for $60 a month because diabetes is a challenge and you shouldn't have to worry if I can afford the therapy that I need or have to pay the, the bills. Um, and to that end, if you need financial assistance, if you need pay plans, Medtronic offers that for you. If you're a family of four making $98,000, we can save you potentially 70% off of any out-of-pocket costs that you may have. We've been around for 35 years and we believe that our patients deserve the best therapy. And once again, we don't want you to force, force you to break the bank. Okay. Um, all right. And here's one more. Let's see. It's what is the size of your CGM um, and where is it worn? Yep. So the size is almost the size of a, uh, I, I guess, I don't know if you can see it there. This is it on my arm right here. So it's very small. This is the, the entire size of it. Um, it is approved for your arm as well as your stomach. If, you, if we have any young kids out there, it is also approved for your upper buttocks. I believe that's ages 2 to 14. So it, there's multiple areas where you can place it. It's a matter of where you feel comfortable. Uh, you can work with our, our uh, clinical people as well as uh, the folks in Mary Washington to make sure that you get your best bet, best spot possible and achieve the results that you want to. Okay. All right, and Laura, to you, do you see any other questions or have any that we should ask Matt? I don't, I think that's good. Thanks Matt, that was great. You're welcome, thank you. All right. Okay, we're gonna move on to our final um, continuous glucose monitor manufacturer, and that would be Dexcom. And we've got two representatives today from Dexcom. 
we've got Carol Hebron, and Carol is a registered nurse, and she's also a certified diabetes care and education specialist. She re relocated from England to the U.S. in the early 1990s. She became interested in diabetes early on in her career and obtained her CDE certification in 1997. She can't believe she's worked in the field of diabetes for 20 years. She's been in a remote position as a clinical account manager for the last five years and trains and educates both patients and healthcare providers on all Dexcom products. She's delighted to present to you today. And we also have Colleen who's popped up here too. Colleen is the local senior territory business manager at Dexcom, the leader in development of continuous glucose monitoring systems. Over the last four years, Colleen has worked with local providers as well as patients to provide education around CGM and the benefits it provides for those on intensive insulin. Her personal passion for diabetes has led her to work within the diabetes space for several large medical device companies over the last 15 years. Her goal throughout her career has always been the same, to help patients with diabetes live healthy and happy lives. This goal has been her driving force in all she does both professionally and personally. She is inspired daily by her husband and two children and in her free time, she enjoys dancing and taking photos. And um, I know personally, I, I, I email Colleen all the time with questions and she's always so responsive. So I'm gonna turn it over to Carol and Colleen. Thanks, Laura. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and share my slides here. You should be able to see the Dexcom G6 introduction slide here. Uh, very happy to be here and we are happy to take some questions at the end of the presentation as well. Um, we're going to just go through a few slides here and um, just let you know a little bit about the Dexcom and how it can be beneficial for you if you have diabetes. So one of the um, one of the best pieces of news we got with our Dexcom G6 system when it was launched a couple of years ago was that patients no longer had to stick their finger to get a blood sample um, that prior to that they would have had to do before they could make a treatment decision. So the Dexcom G6 is approved for a patient to make treatment decisions without having to do a finger stick. And um, prior versions of Dexcom also needed to be calibrated. Uh, the current system does not need any calibration and calibration also required finger sticks. So across the board, there are no finger sticks for the Dexcom system. The Dexcom has proven to lower hemoglobin A1C levels and reduce hypoglycemic incidence. We have many studies out there uh, proving those two points. It is approved for patients who are two years and older. Um, Medicare also covers the Dexcom, so you can imagine there are a wide range of patient ages who um, are using the Dexcom system. <coughs> Your Dexcom system will give you readings every five minutes and you can choose to use the system with a receiver, a handheld receiver, which is the display device. You could also connect your G6 to your iPhone or a compatible Android phone. And you'll be able to get real time readings every five minutes without doing anything. If you think about testing your blood sugar four, six, even eight times a day, if you are to if you were to look at that um, at those levels and uh, try to figure out what your glucose level has been doing that day, you might see something like this. So you might see a glucose level here in the morning, another one around lunch, maybe one around dinner, and one at bedtime. It gives a, a pretty good overview for those patients that are testing frequently. But then if you think about how the continuous glucose monitor can bring additional value, you would be able to see all of the glucose values in between those finger stick values. So you may completely miss out on this information <clears throat> when you're doing a traditional blood glucose finger testing. So having the Dexcom give you a different number every five minutes allows you to see the um, the more detailed trend that your glucose levels are following, um, your ups and downs, and also, you know, when things are nice and steady during the night. 
how do you put on a Dexcom? Well, a Dexcom um, sensor is a small wire that is, uh, it's made of platinum and silver and it's inserted under the skin. It goes into the fat layer. So we do um, have an applicator to help with that insertion. And the insertion sites are recommended for the abdomen and then for our um, pediatric population. Remember, we have those little two-year-olds and up. Um, we also have approval for the upper buttocks. The um, device, once it's on the body, is water resistant. So you can swim with it, you can shower with it. We also have additional um, adhesives and um, overlay patches to make sure that that tape sticks on well and that you don't lose it while you're in the pool. So this is um, a quick review of the, the full system. So we have the applicator, we have a small transmitter, which is a Bluetooth device, which sends a signal to a, uh, either a phone or a receiver or both. So because this transmitter contains Bluetooth, it can speak to or communicate with multiple devices. If you're actually getting a Dexcom, you would typically get a receiver, a transmitter, and the um, applicator in the, in the box. Um, the phone is not included. Just want to make that clear. And then if you are using a phone, if you have a compatible smart device, you can go into your either Google Play Store or the App Store and look for the Dexcom G6 mobile app. Once the, um, the system is up and running, so the sensor is inserted, the transmitter is placed on the skin, there's a, a short warm-up period, so we have to give the device a little bit of time to kind of settle into your tissues, and then after that period there is a, um, a number and a trend arrow that will appear on the screen. So when we talk about the value of uh, CGM, continuous glucose monitoring, we're thinking about not just the number, but the additional information in the form of a trend arrow that will tell you the direction that your glucose level is heading, and also how quickly that glucose level is changing. So whether it's going up rapidly or down rapidly, you would be able to see that right there. Every five minutes, you're getting a new update as far as that direction goes. And along with that, you're getting a number that you're familiar with that, you're similar, that is similar to what you would see on your blood glucose meter. So um, we do ask that you, that you have both pieces of information present on the screen before you make treatment decisions on your Dexcom. If for some reason you're not seeing a trend arrow, we would recommend that you test, a, maybe do a test at that point or just wait a few minutes and the trend arrow typically will return and give you that, that extra value that you're looking for. At the bottom of the screen here, you can see the, the trends for the last three hours. This time frame here can be adjusted up to 24 hours by turning the, um, the phone on its side. So if you have a horizontal view, you can see up to 24 hours of your glucose data you can also enter events like insulin, uh, carbs, exercise, how you're feeling that day. All of those events will show up on the screen for you. And then also once you share that data with your healthcare provider, they will have all of that information in their software reports. You are able to customize some of your alerts on the Dexcom. You can set a low glucose alert. You can set a high glucose alert. You can also turn off these alerts if you prefer. There are different volumes and options for vibration and different sounds on the phones as well to help you get those notifications. We also have a predictive alert. This will tell you if your glucose level is dropping at such a rate that it will be less than 55. 55 is our urgent low alarm. So once it gets towards 55, you will get an urgent low soon alert, letting you know it's predicting that low. Um, this is a great example. Glucose value is 118, but there are two arrows going down. These two arrows indicate that glucose level is dropping pretty quickly three or more points per minute, and it will be less than 55 within the next 20 minutes. So it gives you 
time to do something about it to try to prevent that low. The phones have a lot more options as far as the sounds and the um, Dexcom also has the ability to override a silent phone, a phone that is the phone that has been put in the silent mode or in that do not disturb mode. So um, you have options on how that is set up in the phones. And there are some uh, additional alert schedules that can be set up in the phones as well. I mentioned the speed and direction, the, the arrows that will appear along with the numbers. So um, we always provide this in our training documents uh, so that you would have that on hand. But basically, it lets you know how quickly the glucose level is moving. Remember, it's never stationary. Sharing, this is a huge advantage on the Dexcom system as well for a family member to be able to see what their uh, loved one's glucose levels look like. Um, parent and mom here are a good example. Um, being able to see the child's glucose levels when she's at school, for example, they can set up something called sharing. Mom's app over here is actually um, the follow app. And mom is able to see those glucose values regardless of where the child is, as long as the child is, um, has their Dexcom on and their own device within range. We then have for the healthcare provider something called Dexcom Clarity. Your, Dex, your uh, healthcare provider might ask you to allow them to see your data from your Dexcom system. That data would be on the cloud or on the server at Dexcom, um, and you can give your healthcare provider access to that data. Um, there's an easy way to set that up through the Clarity app, but this just gives you a quick example of um, one of the reports within the Dexcom Clarity software. You can see your average glucose, you can see an estimated A1C, and you can see really importantly is the time and range, how much time you're spending in your target range that has been uh, recommended by your physician or by your healthcare provider. The other thing you can do once you're in, um, uh, in Clarity is you can actually see patterns as well. It will actually pull out patterns for you so you'll know when those highs or lows are happening and when they're consistently happening at certain times. It will actually point those out for you. When you're at home, you can log into your computer and go to clarity.dexcom.com and you can see your own reports and set up sharing with your healthcare provider. And of course, we have an app, so there's an app for everything, right? Uh, so Dexcom Clarity app will be in your phone and you'll be able to connect to your healthcare provider through that app. This is what the app looks like on the phone. Again, here's that great information that we just saw on the, on the report that was uh, coming from the website, but it's um, kind of condensed down into the app. And you would authorize sharing with your healthcare provider. So your um, your family members will know what's going on with you through the follow app and your healthcare provider will know what's going on with your blood sugars as needed uh, through the clarity option. And then just to let you know, we have plenty of support for you. We have a Dexcom care team which consists of diabetes educators. Our educators are there to help walk you through training from start to finish and there to support you ongoing. We have technical support, which is 24 hours. And if you need any help with ordering your supplies, we have customer support as well. Thank you so much. We'll take some questions, I think. Thank you, that was great, Carol. And um, we do have some questions already that have been coming in. So um, one of the uh, first questions that came in is, um, why can't I wear it on my upper arm? So I'll answer, I'll take that one. Sure. Oh, where's my settings? There they are. There we go. Um, yeah, so the, the answer to that is when we tested the device in clinical trials and clinical studies, the locations that we chose were the abdomen and the upper buttocks for children and age up to 18. Um, and that's what we can recommend at the moment. Um, our future device, we are actually looking at the upper arm as well. 
Okay, your doctor, great. your doctor can give you more advice on where to place it on your body if your abdomen isn't suitable. Uh, so that's a discussion that I have with your healthcare provider. Okay. All right. Great. Um, does um, does this work with the new iPhone? Yes. Depending on the version of the iOS, they shouldn't have any problem with any Apple device. Anything that's uh, new. Um, it's really easy to work with a single manufacturer like Apple. Uh, we're, we're pretty much head to head with them on their technology and their apps and same with us. So um, I'll just mention it is a little bit more difficult with the Androids because there are multiple, multiple manufacturers and it just makes it a little bit more difficult to get those apps approved. Okay. Um, another question we have is what happens if I accidentally break or lose my transmitter? How quickly can it be replaced? Colleen? Yep, absolutely. That's a great question. So um, what the patient needs to do, if there's any type of malfunction, loss of device, sensor doesn't last for the 10 days, we always recommend that you always reach directly out to Dexcom. Um, our number that can be reached is 888-738-738. 3646. Dexcom will then look into the situation and if the sensor did not last the full 10 days, you will receive um, a replacement. If it's the transmitter, as you mentioned, um, depends on what the situation was in regards to, to the transmitter itself, but we will do everything in our power to, to replace the components of the device if, if need be. Um, the typical turnaround period, it will all depend, but usually we will um, expedite most orders as quickly as possible. So we're usually within a few days. Thank you. Um, we have another question. Um, uh, would you mind repeating how I can share the results with my family? Yeah, so the person who is using Dexcom is able to set up sharing through the G6 app. There is a share icon right there on the main screen. When the share icon is tapped, um, it'll open up a screen to allow you to enter in your family member's email address. You will then send an email from your phone app. <laughs> uh, we're doing a little demo there. It's pretty easy to see, but um, once that email goes to the family member, the family member will put the follow app on their own phone and um, acknowledge the fact that you're inviting them to see the data real time. And at that point, you're basically connected. You'll be able to see those glucose levels every five minutes, and uh, you'll be able to make some decisions on the types of alerts that you want to receive or maybe not want to receive. Okay, great. And um, I think we have time for another question. This one is um, about prescription required um, uh, for your CGM. And then what um, does my provider have to specify in order to order this correctly? So we have coverage for patients that are on intensive insulin on all types of insurance, whether it is um, commercial or Medicare. There are particular guidelines in which CGM is required um, to have in the chart notes. So as you're seeing your provider, if you are interested in a Dexcom, I would ensure that you do provide adequate information for them to be able to record it into their chart notes. Starting with Medicare, Medicare guidelines require that you are testing your current blood sugar with a meter at least four times a day. Those readings will also then be um, shown to your doctor so they can record it in the notes. You do also the requirement of being on injections, three or more a day is a necessity, whether it's injecting um, insulin or on an insulin pump. You also do need to be making adjustments to your insulin um, based on your blood sugar levels. So for example, a sliding scale or a carb ratio would be suitable to be able to be documented in the notes. You need to see your provider every six months, so that way um, you're receiving the care that you need. And um, type one or type two diabetes does have to be the diagnosis as well for Medicare to cover the device. 
from a commercial standpoint, we do have coverage for all type ones within the state of Virginia, regardless of insurance. Again, for these individuals that have type one diabetes, it is requirement to be on three or more injections a day or on insulin pump therapy. Um, testing your blood sugar, showing that you are trying with your meter currently is also recommended. So at least three, three um, finger sticks a day would be adequate. We do and have gained quite a bit of type two coverage in the area as well. So again, the requirements would be insulin, but some insurances will cover for type two diabetes. Um, the easiest way when you're with your provider is for them to um, send a prescription directly to Dexcom. Um, if your provider does not have any forms or know how to do that, um, they can be e-scribed as well directly to Aspen, A-S-P-N. It's a third party we are using to have your prescription checked for pharmacy coverage as well as medical. We're making it much easier to prescribe and much faster and um, accessible for you as a patient as well. Okay, great. And we had a question come in and um, this should be interesting. What if I have an iPhone and family member has an Android? Um, can you work with that or vice versa? And how does the sharing, how is sharing of information affected when that occurs? Yeah, that's actually no problem at all. So if the patient is using the iPhone, um, same process that I mentioned before as far as setting up the sharing and the person with the Android phone just goes to their, uh, their app store on their phone and gets the follow app. No difference. Great. That's nice mm -hmm. because sometimes we know um, there can be uh, different types of phones within the family. Okay, yeah. um, Courtney, do we have any other questions at this time? Courtney's telling me no. Um, so Laura, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Thanks, Karen, Colleen. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. Bye. So thanks everybody Bye. today for attending our forum. We're looking forward to the day where we can resume this in person. But for the time being, we'll be doing the virtual forums. Um, thanks today for Matt and Brian and Colleen and Carol for presenting to us. I think they gave us a lot of options and great information. Thanks to Jody and Courtney and Karen working um, up front and in the background, making sure everything went smoothly. And I just want to throw out there that if you'd like to share this event with friends and family, or if you want to check out our website again and check out our past forums and podcasts that we've recorded, you can go to diabetes.mwhc.com. Also, if you saw something today you liked and um, you think you might start a continuous glucose monitor, uh, we're trained to help you with that. So you can just call our office and make an appointment and we can get you set up. Or say you're already on one and you need help with that data, you know, filtering through it and deciding what, what to do next. Um, give us a call. Our office number is 540-741-2210. So thanks again, everybody. See you next time.